<laughs> I bet that was one scared little raccoon. Well, wake up, Los Angeles. I'm Hank Carter. And I'm Monica Clarkson. And it's time for my favorite weekly feature, Our Curious County, with our special reporter, Katie King. We should be doing real news, not this freak of the week mumbo jumbo. I should be anchoring the show, not Monica. If I, oh, I had one chance, oh, I'd give her a nice swift kick in the. Dr. Godless? Godless, yes. Hi, I'm Katie King from Wake Up LA. We're here for your interview. Oh, yes, my submission. <laughs> Where are, are the cameras? Oh, this is Don, my cameraman. Um, this is just a preliminary interview. Hmm. I was told there would be cameras. How can you shoot without cameras? Okay, okay, no cameras then. No problem. As I said, just... No, 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 no. My cell phone? Not, that's a blueberry. Not a cell phone. Put it away. Put, 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 put it away. No, no blueberries in my abode. Yes. Uh, come in. Come in. This is the device. See? What exactly does it do? It makes vengeance. I I'm sorry? Every time they insult you, every time they persecute you, falsely say all kinds of evil against you, you deserve your vengeance. And that's what this machine gets you. Um, isn't vengeance the Lord's? I mean, didn't he sayeth something like that? This is science, Miss King. How it works. <clears throat> See? <laughs> now, tell me this. Have you ever been insulted or hurt and you didn't do anything about it? Or maybe you weren't fast enough or strong enough? This machine takes you back to those times. It takes you there. It searches your mind. So, read your mind. That's the brilliance of my technology. The computer connecting to your mind. <laughs> it takes you to those places where your mind's desire is to avenge yourself. And it lets you get even with those heartless money grubbers. And this actually works. Of course it does. There are a few kinks to work out, of course. So it doesn't work. It's vengeance that doesn't work, the, the nature of it, that's the problem. Every time you exact revenge, it becomes less and less satisfying. Each new moment leads to the next greater moment until eventually the revenge cycle ends in death. Death? Yes. So you can use it, but you can't use oh, yes, it. Oh, yes, you can. It has a safety, yes, for minor moments of emotional trauma. It works fine for those, but not for the biggies, not the good stuff, but with the safety off, the algorithm finds increasingly perilous moments in your life. You go on and on until death. Until, of course, I find the variable that makes vengeance travel safe. Of course. There is also RMR, but that's minor. RMR. Sometimes the system has trouble clearing the memory card and you'll end up in another user's past. Uh, negligible. That must be them. One moment. Oh. <clears throat> yes. Hey, yes, yes, but did you find it? The document is there. I'm, I'm telling you now. Now you listen to me. It's underneath the fish tank. Oh, the document is there. I'm telling you. Just look harder. Want to go to the dance with me? Okay. Okay, but it's not for sure. Do you want to dance? No. <gasps> not with you. Yeah. I'm really hot. I'm really tired. Wait, you're rejecting me, Scott Steadkey? You asked me to this dance. Everyone calls you Scott Stinky. Even Mrs. Rutledge called you Scott Stinky once by accident. You smell like feet. Scott Stinky can't afford to turn down a dance. Hey, that's okay, kid. In a few years, you're gonna regret this when I've slimmed down a little bit. But hey, I don't need you. I've got moves. 
leaves. <laughs> Sit down, Miss King. Stop fidgeting. Think you're pretty hot stuff in your plays and your drama club. Dreamer. This is the real world, Miss King. Games and daydreams will get you nowhere. God is not smiling down on you when you are making a fool of yourself. Sister, Quiet! A respectful young woman knows when to speak and when to listen. I am sick to death of your twittering. You are a disrespectful brat. Young lady, this is not a game. And I do not... Oh. oh. Heart. You will drive me to death. Enough of your childishness. Oh. Shame oh. on you. Enough of your childishness. Oh, oh my, my heart. No, oh dear, someone. Oh please, Lord, talk about me. You are more of a drama queen than the entire drama department put together. I think I need some space, actually. You know, like, we're not exclusive or anything, right? Mark Davis. I love this machine. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, you need space? Yo! The I'm sorry, Mark, I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. You know, after dating for six months and meeting each other's parents, you gave me a box of peanut brittle with a note on it that said Merry Xmas after I spent four weeks knitting you a sweater because you said you didn't like consumerism on Christmas because you didn't want to ruin Christ's birthday. Well, this is my birthday and you've decided you need your space and you need your time. You don't need space and time, Stephen Hawking. You need to grow up. Well, it's called a relationship, Mark. It's called maturity. Who do you think you are? Bring on the next one! You can't do that to me! Time to go now! You lack vision, Doctor. Why help people when you can do something so much more marvelous? Like make money. I told you no, I want no part of it. I'm not me, who am I? Holy smokes, I'm smart! I'm smart! Sit down, smart guy. I need to talk on this, about this. Isn't she beautiful? We launched next year, spring of 99. It's gonna make us millions. Well, us, us, not you and us, us, just us, you know. You can't help people, God bless you. People can't help themselves. With your mind-computer connecting algorithm, <laughs> it'll revolutionize the world. Starting with our bank accounts. You think people are techno-dependent now? <laughs> Why do they get a load of this? You see, Gutless, you're the genius, but we're the brains. Gutless. It's, it's Gutless. Whatever. The corporation owns your patents. You don't own squat. So, uh, toodles. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. What a pushover. I'm sure he's used to it. Now that was uncalled for. You know, we were going to let you go. But now, now we have to do something we didn't really want to do. Something violent. To protect our corporate interests. You know, Doc, it's like I said. People can't help themselves. You just can't help yourself. That's the problem. Lock the door. Well, people can't help themselves. I cannot help myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been trying to. Only you can help me. Forgive me. Please save me. Or the freaks, Kate. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Katie! Hey, Monica. You know, Katie, I have a great idea for you. I remember this. This is my story. This is my actual research. 
You stole my stories. That's how you became anchor. Katie. No. You know what I'm going to do, Monica? I'm going to forgive you. Yeah, you stabbed me in the back. I can see that. But I forgive you. Okay. So, you're anchor then, Monica. All right, Lord. You'll put me there someday. You survived. How is that possible? What did you do? It's, it's gone to venge less. It, it should be at venge full. What is this? Error. Application forgiven? It doesn't even make sense. You know, Doctor, I think it'd make a great subject for my piece.